Distracted driving is a. Anything that causes evasive action while driving. b. Anything that takes your attention away from driving. c. Anything that causes you to pay more attention to driving. b. Anything that takes your attention away from driving. The term, distracted driving, refers to driving while anything takes your eyes, hands, or mind away from the task at hand. Distracted driving is the most common contributing factor to reported traffic collisions. Distractions of any sort cause drivers to miss key visual and audio cues needed to avoid a crash. If a flagger is directing traffic in a construction zone, you must a. Follow the directions given by the flagger. b. Copy what surrounding traffic is doing, despite the flagger's instructions. c. Assume the flagger is not supposed to be directing traffic. d. Follow the laws that would be in place if the area was not under construction. a. Follow the directions given by the flagger. Be prepared to reduce your speed and use caution when directed to do so by a sign, flagger, or law enforcement officer. Failure to do so is illegal and is dangerous to those working in construction zones. When approaching a flashing red traffic light, drivers should a. Drive through the intersection if there is no crossing traffic. B. Continue driving, as they have the right of way. C. Stop if a police officer is nearby. D. Treat the light like a stop sign. D. Treat the light like a stop sign. Flashing red lights are used at dangerous intersections. Treat them like stop signs. Consuming which of the following substances may impair your ability to drive safely and may result in an arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicants DUII. A. Beer, wine, and other liquor. B. Controlled substances, such as illegal drugs or prescription medicines. C. Inhalants, such as glue or paint. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. A wide variety of intoxicants can impair your ability to drive. These include all types of alcoholic beverages, illegal drugs, inhalants, and many legal medications, both prescription and over-the-counter. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. When driving in fog or mist, never put your headlights on the high beam setting because a. The light will reflect back into your eyes. b. Approaching vehicles might not see you. c. Vehicles behind you may follow too closely. This sign means a. No left turn. b. Flagger ahead. c. Two-way left turn. d. Turn right or go through. A. No left turn. Regulation signs regulate traffic speed and movement, displaying rules which drivers must obey. This regulation sign means that left turns are prohibited. If a traffic signal light is green and a police officer signals for you to stop, you should. A. Obey the officer. B. Obey the traffic signal. C. Do what the vehicle in front of you does. A. Obey the officer. Drivers must obey any instructions given by a police officer, even if the instructions contradict laws, signs, signals, or markings that would otherwise apply. When approaching a flashing yellow light, drivers should a. Increase their speed. b. Come to a complete stop. c. Turn on their headlights. d. Slow down and proceed with caution. d. Slow down and proceed with caution.
A flashing yellow light warns of a hazard. Slow down and proceed with caution. What is the meaning of this sign? A. The traffic signal ahead is displaying a red light. B. The traffic signal ahead is broken. C. The traffic signal ahead is displaying a green light. D. There is a traffic signal ahead. D. There is a traffic signal ahead. This sign indicates that there is a traffic signal at the intersection ahead. If you are being passed in a no-passing zone, you should a. Pull off the road. b. Maintain your speed and position. c. Slow down and let the other driver safely return to the drive lane. c. Slow down and let the other driver safely return to the drive lane. Passing areas are based on how far ahead drivers can see. Allow the passing vehicle to re-enter the drive lane as easily as possible to help everyone avoid potential upcoming hazards. You are merging onto an interstate highway. You should a. Select a safe gap and merge into the lane of traffic. b. Merge across two lanes at once. c. Always stop before entering the highway. A. Select a safe gap and merge into the lane of traffic. Anytime you want to merge with other drivers, you need to find a gap large enough for you to safely enter into the flow of traffic. You should not stop on the entrance ramp to an interstate highway unless there are no gaps into which you may safely merge. When completing an emergency roadside stop, it is not necessary to put on your parking brake. A. True. B. False. B. False. Set your parking brake when making an emergency roadside stop. Turn on your emergency flashers to alert other drivers to your presence. You may turn right on red. A. If there is a sign prohibiting turning right on red. B. Before pedestrians have crossed any intersecting crosswalks. C. Before coming to a complete stop. D. After coming to a complete stop and yielding to pedestrians and vehicles in the intersection. D. After coming to a complete stop and yielding to pedestrians and vehicles in the intersection. At an intersection with a solid red traffic signal, you may turn right after coming to a full stop. You may only turn if it is safe to do so and if there is no sign prohibiting turns on a red light. Be careful of pedestrians crossing in front of your vehicle. While driving on a roadway with a single broken white centerline. A. You must stay within your lane. B. You may cross the center line to change lanes. C. You may change lanes only from the left lane. B. You may cross the center line to change lanes. White lines between lanes indicate that the lanes are traveling in the same direction. Broken white line markings indicate that it is legal to pass another vehicle when safe. If a tire suddenly blows out while you are driving, you should a. Grip the steering wheel firmly, slow down, and exit the traffic lane. b. Pump the brakes rapidly. c. Brake hard and steer toward the right edge of the roadway. a. Grip the steering wheel firmly, slow down, and exit the traffic lane. If you experience a sudden tire blowout, do not panic. Grasp the steering wheel firmly and take your foot off the accelerator to allow the vehicle to roll to a stop. Lightly apply the brakes when it is safe to do so. Do not move to the shoulder of the road until the car has slowed considerably. From top to bottom, the following is the proper order for traffic lights. A. Red, yellow, green. B. Red, green, yellow. 
C. Green, red, yellow. A. Red, yellow, green. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign warns drivers about the presence of traffic signals at an intersection ahead. You want to back out of your driveway. You see children playing nearby. Before you start to move your car, you should A. Rev your engine to warn the children that you are moving. B. Sound your horn so the children will hear you. C. Walk to the back of the car to be sure the way is clear. D. Tell the children to stay away from the driveway. C. Walk to the back of the car to be sure the way is clear. When you back up a vehicle, look through your back window for pedestrians and other obstacles. Do not rely only on your mirrors, especially when children are near. Before you back into or out of a driveway, get out of the vehicle and check behind your vehicle. No passing zone, signs tell drivers. A. To speed up slightly. B. That it is not safe to pass. C. To maintain a steady speed. B. That it is not safe to pass. If you come across a, no passing zone, sign, it is not legal to pass in the indicated area. You are likely driving in an area with restricted visibility where it would be unsafe to pass another vehicle. You are waiting to turn left at a multi-lane intersection and opposing traffic is blocking your view. You should A. Accelerate rapidly when the first lane you need to cross is clear. B. Wait until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn. C. Wait for an oncoming driver to wave you across the intersection. D. Edge your car into each lane of opposing traffic as soon as it clears. B. Wait until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn. You should never start a left turn until you can see that all the lanes you need to cross are clear and that you can safely make the turn. The effect that lack of sleep has on your safe driving ability is the same as A. The effect that alcohol has. B. The effect that amphetamines have. C. The effect that anger has. D. The effect that driving with teenagers has. When exiting a highway, you should slow down. A. On the main road, just before the exit lane. B. Once you see a toll booth. C. Once you have moved into the exit lane. D. When you first see the exit sign. C. Once you have moved into the exit lane. When exiting a highway, you should get into the exit lane well in advance. Do not begin to slow down until after you have moved into the exit lane. This sign means A. Side road. B. Merge. C. Yield the right of way. A. Side road. This sign indicates that there is an intersection with a side road ahead. Worn or bald tires. A. Can make turning more difficult. B. Are likely to hydroplane. C. Can increase your stopping distance. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Worn or bald tires can increase your stopping distance and make turning more difficult. Tires without adequate tread also increase the risk of hydroplaning. To know where traffic is behind you? A. Frequently check your rear view mirror. B. Turn and look out your back window. C. Keep other vehicles out of your blind spots. A. Frequently check your rear view mirror.
Drivers should check their rearview mirrors often to stay aware of the position of traffic behind them. This road sign means A. School crossing B. Pedestrian crossing C. Jogging trail B. Pedestrian crossing Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign indicates the presence of a crosswalk, regardless of if it is marked on the pavement or not. Upon seeing this sign, you should be alert and allow any pedestrians to cross the road safely.